All right, this is a maiden voyage to this little jammer jammer I just made. I've never done this before. I'm thinking it's got to be a lot easier than what I was going to do. Let's see. I'm nervous. What the hell? Wow. Ain't that something? Look at that. I love it. I'm going to finish this up and I'll show y'all what I'm doing here. So, this bottle was originally um, used in tour to Europe and whatnot. I don't like that. Let's get that. So, I was working on uh, Tiffany's Explorer here, and this has a unique refill system where you actually have to push the fluid back into it. And so, I'm thinking, do I really want to use that again? And how traumatizing that is? Painful. I mean, wrist strength, all that's awesome. But then uh, I was like, why don't I use some compressed air and a few brain cells? So, hence the Nalgene bottle. Yeah, there. All right, so what I did is I put a valve stem in the top, metal one, so I sealed the back end of it. Let's just see. So you got a valve stem on the, t on the back, just go in your rim, and then what is it, three eighths? Three eighths with the barbed on the end, and I put a high flow compressor on three eighths valve on there. Little hose, cut a little notch in the bottom in case it goes in the corner, and then I sealed that key up. Can't come back at you because it's the valve for a bar. So with this Explorer, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because I I didn't feel confident putting Mercron V in there, like fresh stuff, because this vehicle has like a lot of miles, like 200,000 miles, like a lot. And uh, it has the factory gasket on the uh, transmission oil pan, or pan when I pulled it. And I'm thinking, that fluid reeks and it's black and I don't want Tiffany to have a vehicle that doesn't shift when she comes to pick up her vehicle. Hence what I'm doing now. So I said, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put all that fluid that I pulled out of there that when it shifted when he brought it over, back in that vehicle. That makes the most sense to me because um, I did lose a little bit of, of fluid when I uh, when I pumped out to mess with the radiator. So I was thinking to myself, how the hell am I going to get this fluid? It's going to be such a pain in the to get it back in there. But as you saw at the beginning of the video here, it wasn't as difficult. Sometimes you just overthink stuff. A little compressed air. And zero dollars spent. And bam! Pneumatic oil pump. Anyways, hope you all have a good night. Take her easy.